Calais. What's going on, How Coach? How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks I'm, for inviting me over. I'm surprised you weren't here on Coughlin time. Man. You're supposed to be a couple minutes early. <laughs> I was here, but you were holding me up. <laughs> nice of you to have me over. Yeah, no good. coffee, no tea, but you know, what can I tell you? You know, uh, that Coughlin time had me. I was trying to make sure I was ready. Yeah. So uh, I know you come from a big family. I and do. You're a big family man. All your family, are they on Coughlin time? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Where did that start? I wanted people that were passionate about their job. I wanted people that were in a hurry to get to work. I wanted people that enjoyed coming to work, had a smile on their face, were aggressive, you know, were interested in being the best they could possibly be. Yeah. So I put the clocks five minutes ahead because I want people that are in a hurry and passionate about getting to work and getting their job done. Choir, let me hear it. And what I really loved is when they bitch about it a little bit. You know, when people <laughs> complain about it, I love it. That means that they're on it. They, they, they have a certain idea about what it's all about. Yeah. I know you take a lot of trips and you're like a big vacation guy with your family. Where's your favorite trip you ever took? Well, let me say this first. We have started this family vacation thing a long time ago. And what we've done is we set aside a certain time of the year, obviously in July, right after the 4th, to be together as a family. We used to have a budget, but that went out the window a long time ago. <laughs> I'm trying to follow your footsteps here, so I just yeah. started planning we're gonna do a family trip every year with my immediate family. That's nice. And, That's uh, you know, but I have a budget still. You know, I know football is a big part yeah, of your life, and yeah. then you got your family. But outside of family and football, like, what do you do for fun? You know, I wish I could tell you I was an avid this or that, but I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> but to be honest with you, what I really enjoy doing is watching my grandkids play. How many grandkids do you have? Twelve. Do you much. coach your kids and grandkids a lot? I mean, being a, a coach and like being the, yeah, one of the best coaches yeah. ever. You know, I gotta be a little more subtle than I was with my own. <laughs> you know, this is our 25th season. It sure is. And you were the coach in that first that first time around when it was brand new and there was this wasn't a football city. How was that for you? Well, it was it was an incredible experience. You know, I, I was at Boston College as the head coach there. I was there for three years. And I got a call from David Selvin, who was the president of the Jacksonville Jaguars at the time. I thought it was a car dealership. So I did. <laughs> I was the God. I answered the phone. I took the job and, and, and I came down to Jacksonville and the press conference was held in a bank. I didn't get to see anything else. When I came back a week later, they took me to the site where the stadium had been knocked down. Oh, wow. There was one concrete stanchion there. There was a trailer. It was pouring rain. The mud was up to my ankles. I walk in the place, There's I was the seventh employee. I look around and I thought, what in hell have I got myself into <laughs> this time? But the experience was great as we built the team, et cetera, et cetera. I wanted to get out of the heat for our first training camp. So we went to Stevens Point, Wisconsin. It was 104 for a week, for a whole week. <laughs> he just seven followed days, you. <laughs> seven days. So at the end of the seventh day, it was one of those terrible thunderstorms came through and it was lightning and thunder and it was terrible. And I said, guys, I'm really sorry to tell you, but we're, we're not gonna be able to scrimmage this afternoon. Yeah. I had a standing <laughs> ovation. Everybody was yelling and screaming how great it was, you know? So one of the best moments in the, fran in the history of the franchise. We're coming back from Denver. We're, you know, we're all excited. We're happy, we're happy, we're advanced. And we get back towards Jacksonville, you know, really late, late at night. And I feel that the, the, the captain banks the, pl the plane. And I'm saying, what the, what the heck's going on? I look, he's over the stadium. We look down, 36,000 people were waiting for us. Wow. We got home at 1 o'clock in the morning. By the time we got to the stadium, it was 1.30, 1 1.45. 1 36,000 people waiting for us to get back in the stadium. And so that, that was exciting. You gotta love the city because they love football. They do love man. football. They are yeah. football nuts. They will come. You win and they, <laughs> they will come. come. And it. they sure do. Duval! Yeah. I know that's no better there was that, that saying wasn't here when I was here. Really? No, no. It was, since I, I left, that has come up. But I, I like it too. I think <laughs> it's a great signal to everybody. I appreciate you coming by though. It's gonna be a Thanks good year. You're 25. Let's make Thanks it the best one. 25 is a big number. Oh, hello, oh, hey. other Josh. You're an intern now. Yeah, as an intern, I have many responsibilities. 
to have my coffee, like, you know, I like two sugars, a little bit of milk. Like, how and early milk. in the morning do you need it? Like, I'm talking about like 7.30, I need it in my locker. If it's not there, I mean, mm. 